Hey guys, so it's been a hot minute since I hopped on here to film, so I wanted to come back and show you some things that I picked up during the month of May. And the first order I placed was from Native, which is a deodorant company, so starting off on a really interesting note here. Uh, but this is a paraben-free, aluminum-free deodorant company, and uh, it's more natural than like your standard uh, grocery store deodorant. So. I think I've said before that I still use like this is the Dove Advanced Care Clear Tone that I use and this one is good because it helps to reduce any discoloration. Um, I don't know if it's just fair skin or people in general that get kind of darker underarms. I've heard it's kind of from the friction of just your arms moving or whatever but this really does help to reduce that. So I still use this. This is an aluminum-based uh, antiperspirant, so uh, that is usually what people are looking to avoid when they use a natural deodorant, but I still do use that. The reason I wanted to pick these up is if I'm just kind of lounging around the house on the weekend or if I'm taking a shower at night and I just don't want to apply something, like if I just shave, uh, I prefer to use a natural deodorant. And I've tried the Schmitz one, but the Schmitz one is really dry and hard, like it doesn't really apply that well. This one is still a little bit drier than like, again, your standard supermarket deodorant, but uh, I do find that if I just take the cap off and blast it with my hair dryer for like a couple seconds, it does help it to uh, soften and apply a little bit easier. So I just wanted to mention that. Uh, this is the Sensitive, I believe, the Cotton and Lily scent, and it's really nice and fresh, nothing too strong. And then I also got this little mini uh, with my order. I think you paid an extra couple dollars or something. Uh, this is Lavender and Rose, and that one's nice as well. I think I prefer the Sensitive scent, but it's deodorant, so it's not like a perfume that you really have to worry too much about. All right, so May was the month of hair care for me. Like, I purchased a lot of hair care items. And the first couple things I picked up were from CVS. They had a 30% off sale online. So I picked up the Purology Hydrate Shampoo and Conditioner. And I'd first tried this, I think, in the sample or travel size. Like, I picked it up at some point in the past. and. I finally got to a point where I needed to replenish my travel uh, toiletries, so I used those and I really enjoyed them, so I decided to pick them up in the full size. Uh, I do find it kind of interesting that the Hydrate Shampoo has an opening at the top and the Hydrate Conditioner opens at the bottom. And a lot of times I'm more picky about my shampoo than I am my conditioner. Like I'll use a more expensive shampoo and then I'll use more of a drugstore or a grocery store conditioner, uh, but I really enjoyed the way that the conditioner smells. Um, has a real kind of minty, pepperminty smell to it, so I find it really refreshing. So for a bottled conditioner like this, I think it does a pretty good job. A lot of times, since my hair is on the drier side, I prefer more of like a conditioning mask, uh, which I'll get to in a minute, but I do enjoy this. I have used quite a bit of this since I've gotten it. And then uh, the Hydrate Shampoo I do like as well. And I'd say this one isn't like minty. It's more, has more kind of a lavender eucalyptus smell to it. But both of them are very kind of herbal. And especially in the morning if you're having trouble waking up, I find both of these scents really refreshing. So I do enjoy them for that reason. And also from CVS, I picked up this Love, Beauty, and Planet Muru Muru Butter and Rose Body Wash. And this is a sulfate-free body wash, which is something I look for because I am prone to eczema on my body. And um, so far, I've just used this in the bath. I just poured a little bit in. Uh, it wasn't great for that purpose. Uh, it smelled amazing, and I think it helped kind of soften the water and make it feel really nourishing, but uh, it didn't create a lot of bubbles. It just kind of, like, pooled together. So... Um, I wouldn't recommend it for that purpose, but it has a really great rose scent. Um, if you do like rose um, smells in your body care, I would definitely recommend checking this out. Uh, I think this was, I don't know, somewhere in the neighborhood of like 
seven dollars full price so I would definitely recommend picking it up and um, this is a 16 fluid ounce size it has a pump so I really don't have any complaints about that so also on the topic of Purology this was after I placed that CVS order I saw that Groupon had this set which I'm guessing was from the holidays because of the ornaments and everything but I think this was about forty dollars for both the shampoo and the conditioner and then it had three uh, travel sizes. Uh, it has the Hydrate Air Dry Cream in one ounce size, the Supreme Control Maximum Hold Hairspray, and the Color Fanatic Multitasking Hair Beautifier. So the spray is kind of like a detangler, uh, it provides heat protection uh, and a lot of other benefits. Hairspray kind of self-explanatory and the Air Dry Cream is supposed to be a leave-in styling cream that enhances natural body and controls frizz without heat. And one of the reasons I decided to pick this up was because of the air dry cream. I saw from looking ahead at the Ulta, what do they call it, the hair event, that they were going to offer this in the full size at half price. So I wanted to try it out and I figured since I already liked the shampoo and conditioner it was a good time to go ahead and pick up this set. So I have tried the Color Fanatic Spray, which worked just fine as a detangler. Didn't have any complaints about that one. So I don't know if this is the best air dry cream that I've ever tried. It kind of depends on what finished result you're looking for. But I did like it enough to go ahead and pick it up from Ulta in the full size. And this one has more of... I guess it's a little bit minty. It's not quite as strong as the conditioner. So this is just kind of your standard hair cream that you uh, comb through your hair. I guess I should back up a little bit and say that um, this is, I guess, more or less my natural texture. Uh, so what I did today was, I think I used the Purology uh, shampoo and conditioner. And then when I got out of the shower, I used the Bumble and Bumble Don't Blow It Fine hairstyler. And I think this, more than anything else, helps me to get the texture in my hair. So what I'll do is, after I've squeezed out any excess moisture, I will put some of this into my palm, run it through my hands, and then uh, I think they call it the plop method, where uh, I take a microfiber towel. The one I have is from Diva Curl, but you can probably use any microfiber towel. And you basically uh, flip your head upside down and kind of let your hair pool onto the towel. Uh, I think before I did that I actually took it to kind of try and scrunch up and remove some of the extra water as well. Uh, but once I did that I flipped it over and the idea is to kind of get the hair piled up into your head rather than getting wrapped up inside the towel. Uh, so I think that helps a lot to encourage the texture. And then um, I guess I'll go ahead and mention the last product I used. Uh, which was the Living Proof Curl Enhancing Styling Mousse. And it says extra hold, light conditioning, and frizz and humidity defense. Uh, I don't think this does a lot to actually give me the texture. Uh, if anything, it probably helps kind of hold it and uh, keep it in place. But I don't know if I would ever purchase a full size. Uh, I picked this up uh, from Amazon, actually, uh, on the recommendation of Jessica Braun. Uh, if you've ever seen her videos, um, I think her hair is probably more wavy, curly than mine is. Uh, so I'm trying to encourage my natural texture, but I think she might have a little bit more to work with. And of course, her hair is longer as well. Um, I don't know if you can see, mine is just past my collarbones, I guess. And it's right now, it's just a blunt cut. I don't know if I got more layers uh, cut into it if it would help. But anyway, I was just trying a lot of different products uh, trying to achieve her kind of hair. And uh, she did film a video where she talked about her hair favorites. Uh, I'll try to link that for you uh, in the description below. Uh, but anyway, yeah, I didn't mind spending, I think this was like $11 from Amazon. They didn't have it um, at Sephora anymore, so I don't know if they're phasing it out or if Sephora is just no longer carrying it. But 
Uh, I did find it on Amazon. And this is the kind of thing where I am glad that I purchased the travel size because uh, I'm not sure if I'd purchased the full size if I ever would have gone through it. So anyway, still kind of playing around with that. All right, so also on the Jessica Braun train, she mentioned in that video that her favorite shampoo and conditioner are from Nexus, and that is the Therapy, maybe? Ther therap? I'm going to say Therapy. A replenishing System Shampoo and the Humectris Ultimate Moisture Conditioner. And uh, just looking at this really quickly, it is interesting that the shampoo, it says it's silicone free, uh, but on the conditioner, it does have dimethicone. So I don't know what the point is of having a shampoo be silicone free if you're following it up with another product that has silicones. But anyway, um, yeah, so I wanted to try this. And Target, I think, had a deal where uh, the mini or travel sizes were buy three, get one free. And so I picked up two of each product, two of the shampoos and two of the conditioners. And then I also picked up two of these uh, Humectris Ultimate Moisture Intensely Hydrating Masks. Uh, I've already used one of these and uh, one packet can pretty much give me two uses. So there's a decent amount of product in here. It's 1.5 ounces. Uh, so I did like this. I found it really nice and nourishing and moisturizing. Uh, the shampoo and conditioner, uh, just as a general matter, I don't like the way they smell. Um, let's try and give you an idea. I mean, the shampoo kind of has like a coconut, but not like a nice clean coconut, like a old tired coconut. Yeah, so I, I just don't love the smell. I think I like the way that it made my hair feel and look, but, but for that reason alone, um, the conditioner, I guess it has more of kind of a floral smell. But yeah, in any case, um, I'll use up these travel sizes. I don't hate it that badly, but uh, I think I will stick to the Pureology going forward. I wanted to say that I have tried the Alterna Caviar Shampoo and Conditioner. I've gone through many bottles of that and I do enjoy it as well. Uh, I was just kind of looking for something different to try and a lot of people had talked very highly of the Pureology Shampoo and Conditioner, so I wanted to give those a shot. So uh, I do still recommend the Alterna Shampoo uh, if you're curious. All right, so also from Target, I think this was a different week that this um, deal was going on, but they had a spend $20 on beauty or personal care and get a $5 gift card. So I kind of used that and repeated it several times. And one of the reasons why I repeated it so many times was I wanted to try the new Sonia Kashuk brushes. So I wanna do a separate video talking more about these brushes in detail and what I think about each of them, but I just wanted to show you really quickly the ones that I picked up. And one of the first ones I got was the Precision Concealer Makeup Brush, which is a synthetic brush with kind of a dome shape to it. And this was $14, so I picked this one up. And then I also got a beauty box from Sonia Kashuk. So Target has beauty boxes that they tend to release, I think towards the beginning of the month. Uh, each month and they have different ones, different themes and that sort of thing. But uh, this one was exclusively Sonia Kashuk products and it was $10 so it was a really good deal. Uh, and inside of that one they had a beauty blender style sponge and then a pair of tweezers which look like so. They had three of these quick dry makeup brush wipes which I haven't tried yet. Uh, the only wipes like this that I have tried were from Sephora and I didn't really like them that much. So I don't know if these ones will be any better. And then there were two brushes. One of them was this Essential Blush Brush, which I did use today to apply my blush and bronzer. And I think this is from her, I guess, less expensive line. Uh, you can kind of see side by side that it's just a little less detailed in how they finished it. Uh, but it is a very good brush that I would recommend. And then the other one was this angled eyeshadow brush, uh, which has a really unique shape to it. Uh, if you can see, it's taller on one side, shorter on the other, and then the actual bristles kind of form a triangle. So it's really good for applying shadow all over the lid, kind of getting in there. So yeah, so it was unexpected, and I don't have any other brushes this shape, so I was happy to get that one. 
All right, another single brush that I picked up was this Stippling Foundation Brush, uh, which I use today to kind of move the foundation around. Uh, so I will talk more about that one later. And then I picked up two brush sets that they offered. One was the Flawless Foundation Brush Set, which had three brushes in it. And those brushes are the Precision Foundation, which is kind of a tapered finger brush. Uh, this reminds me of one of the ones from Sigma, I think. And then also a domed concealer brush, just looks like that, and a pointed foundation brush, which uh, these two are very similar in shape. Uh, this one is a lot smaller, which for my face shape anyway, I think is a lot easier to use. Uh, so I think that's the real MVP. And unfortunately, I think you can purchase this larger one individually, but I don't think you can purchase this one individually. Uh, again, I'll talk more about those at a later date. All right, and then the other brush set I picked up was the Smoky Eye Brush Set, and this had four brushes in it. Uh, if you're curious, the way these come packaged is like so. So they're in a box like this, if you're looking for them. Uh, but this includes the Universal Eyeshadow Brush, which I use to kind of pack all over the lid, kind of use as a setting brush, if you will. Uh, a little smudge brush, which I used under the lash line. A crease brush, which I did use in my crease and then an angled eyeliner brush. So I think between all of these different brushes, I got a pretty good look at uh, the various types of brushes that Sonia Kashuk offers as part of her new brush line. So as far as I'm aware, she discontinued all of her old brushes and then came out with a completely new line uh, that's at Target now. So I was really curious about those. They look really great um, and uh, they perform pretty well. I will, I'll talk more about some hits and misses later on. All right, so I also picked up some more skincare items I'll talk briefly about. So I picked up the Skin Fix Eczema Balm. Like I said, I am prone to eczema, so I wanted to uh, try this. It's been kind of highly recommended on different websites, so uh, it does have collodial oatmeal as the active ingredient. Uh, so anyway, so I wanted to give that a try. It's two ounces, and it was kind of expensive, I think, for what it is. And then another product I picked up was the Acure Rosehip Oil. So at night, if I'm not using like the Luna night oil, I will just use kind of a generic uh, argan oil or something like that. So I wanted to give rosehip oil a try and uh, it looks like they redid their packaging, has a pump instead of a dropper. So I haven't tried using this yet. Uh, I do have very dry skin as opposed to uh, more oily acneic skin. So I've seen on some websites that rosehip oil is may be better suited for acne prone skin. It's less intense, uh, but hopefully I get to this before the end of the summer and I'm not in dire need of a heavy oil. So from QVC, I picked up the new Shimmering Skin Perfector from Becca. Uh, this is the shade Royal Glow and uh, very pretty packaging here. It says Passport to Glow in the UK with a little crown on there. And very smartly, they released this the day of the royal wedding between Meghan and Harry. So uh, I kind of wanted to pick it up, I guess, more as a memento than anything else. Uh, it says, a glow fit for royalty. Inspired by the mystique and beauty of the United Kingdom's iconic crown jewels, our brand new limited edition shade of our award-winning shimmering skin perfector, pressed highlighter in royal glow, features a crown press and collector's edition packaging. So the packaging itself isn't anything too special, it has a reflective silver outside, and then on the inside it has that crown embossing. Uh, I am wearing it today, and I think it actually works pretty well with my skin tone. Uh, if you can't tell, I am extremely fair. And uh, I was worried this would be too dark on me, but I think I was able to get away with it. And I actually picked this up from QVC because they had a special where you got the highlighter and their, what is this called? Uh, their angled highlighting brush. Uh, and both of these together were $40, which is a little bit more that you would probably want to spend on a highlighter, but um, I decided to take the plunge and pick this up. Um, I did use this to apply the highlighter. It's not anything really special as a brush. It's kind of your standard angled shape, has synthetic bristles, but uh, I think it did do a good job of applying the highlighter. 
Alright, so next up, as I'm trying not to lose my voice, uh, I placed an order at Ulta, and free with any purchase, they had the Purology Hydrate Superfood Treatment, and I did use this today, so you can kind of see the dent that I made into it. So I think maybe I could get two more uses out of this with my length hair. Uh, this is one ounce worth of product. And this one almost has more of a vanilla scent to it. But anyway, it was really nice and rich. Uh, it was really nice to use, so uh, happy to pick that up. I don't know if this is something that I would ever purchase in the full size because uh, usually I'm just as happy with kind of drugstore masks and that sort of thing, but uh, it was a nice little sample. All right, and then they also had a six-piece SPF sampler with any $50 purchase, so I will show you what's inside this one. There is the Mario Badescu Oil-Free Moisturizer SPF 17, and this does have avobenzone in it, which is a chemical uh, sunscreen ingredient that I try to avoid because uh, it irritates my skin. So I will be passing this along to someone else. And then there was the Clinique, Clinique Smart Broad Spectrum SPF 15. Again, this has avobenzone in it. I guess, yeah, it's just like a moisturizer with sunscreen. So that's what that little pot looks like. There is the CeraVe Facial Moisturizing Lotion Broad Spectrum Sunscreen SPF 30. And this one has, it has octanoxate, which is another chemical ingredient, but um, I might give this a try just to see if my skin reacts to it. Uh, there is the Kula Mineral Sunscreen Unscented Matte Tint SPF 30. This is just mineral based, so it has titanium dioxide and zinc oxide. So I'm not sure if I've tried this one before. Sometimes the tinted ones I have to be careful of because they can be too dark on me. We'll see how that one looks here. Okay, so that's what that one looks like. It looks pretty yellow. I don't know if that's coming across on camera. I mean, it blends in, so it doesn't have too much pigment, but it is definitely more of a yellow tint than some other ones. Uh, and then there is the La Roche-Posay Anthelios 60. Again, this has avobenzone. And then this one is from Shiseido. And again, it has avobenzone. So uh, a lot of these products I won't be able to use personally, uh, but I was already placing an order and already had different uh, deals going on in my cart, so I decided I might as well pick it up and uh, pass those along to someone else who can use it. So as far as purchases, I picked up four of the Skin to Mitt Skin Therapy Ultra Sensitive with Colloidal Oatmeal Shaving Cream. Uh, this is actually the shaving gel. So I think Skin to Mitt makes two different varieties. One is more of a gel and the other one is more of a cream, like a traditional cream. Uh, so I've used this. This is the one that I've had in my shower. And I just wanted to show you because the thing that kind of, um, I don't know if you can tell, uh, but it's basically clear, and that was the one thing that kind of, um, I don't know, struck me as odd because a lot of times uh, you get these and even like the dry skin formula or maybe just the normal sensitive, if they make that, um, they're a little bit more white based, um, but this was clear and then as you, you know, massage it, it kind of turns into that foam texture, but... Anyway, I just thought I would mention that. It's not something that I was expecting, but that is kind of my tried and true uh, shaving cream or gel that I use. All right, I also picked up the Skin Fix Sheer Face Ointment. So I told you that I got the uh, Eczema Balm from Target and I picked up the Sheer Face Ointment uh, from Ulta. This is actually a lot thicker then I would probably want to use in the summer. I don't know if my skin was just feeling exceptionally dry. Um, I mean, it is dry, but you can see it's more of that kind of Vaseline-y type texture. So if you have very severe uh, eczema on your face, you might want to look into this. So the ingredients are al allantonin, allanton, I don't know, beeswax, so it's not vegan, uh, shea butter, soybean oil, paraffin wax, Oh, it does have petrolatum in it. 
Uh, so just thought I would mention that. It will be good to have on hand um, during the winter coming up. And then another hair event item that I picked up was the Caviar CC Cream from Alterna. Uh, I'd gotten numerous samples of this and uh, I'd been using it and enjoying it so I thought I might as well pick this up uh, while it was half off. I think this was, it was $13 half off so uh, I don't need this anytime soon but I thought it would be good to have that uh, as a backup. Alright, I also got these premium pillow cotton pads and I think Makeup by Tiffany D had said that these are perhaps not dupes, but similar to the Shiseido ones. And let's see here. I mean, they are really soft. I don't know if they're quite as soft, but, but I wanted to get these a shot. These still were kind of expensive. I don't know exactly how much they were, but uh, there's a hundred in here. And I thought if nothing else, I could use these to remove nail polish. They have that kind of lint-free texture. So um, I will let you know if I ever use those on my face. All right, and then a few more gifts with purchase before I get to the kind of big daddy gift with purchase. Um, there were some Sauvage um, pamphlets, whatever. And then my perfume samples I got were YSL Mon Prix Eau de Toilette and Chloe Eau de Parfum, which are both nice, but I've gotten those many times before. And then they had this in there. This is the apple cider vinegar scalp scrub from DP Hue. It has pink Himalayan sea salt in it. And I'm actually kind of excited to try this. I picked up a similar product from Sephora, which I will show you in a minute. Uh, but this has, oh, it had a coupon as well, which um, has since expired. But it was $8 off any um, scalp scrub. So... Uh, anyway, it'll be good to see if I do like this product. And then finally, there was a free 29-piece bag with a $65 purchase. And a couple things I didn't mention that I did pick up as well. I got some of those Formula 10.0.6 uh, wipes for my husband. They're, I think, salicylic wipes. And then some Bior pore strips that he uses as well. So those both helped me get up to that $65 mark. All right, so I just had to turn the fan on because I was getting a little warm, but uh, here is the gift with purchase. And uh, I'll just start digging things out of here. So this is the Sexy Suds from Sexy Hair Moisturizing Shampoo and Conditioner. And these are, let's see here, infused with mimosa flower extract and moonstones. I don't know about that. Uh, so these are both pretty good sizes. These are 1.7 fluid ounce each. All shampoo and conditioner. There is the Purity Moisturizer from Philosophy. This is 7 mil or quarter of a fluid ounce. So that's what that looks like. There is the Memont, maybe. This is the Pore Clean Clay Mask, which probably isn't a product I will use. There is the Garnier Micellar Foaming Gel Cleanser, which again, uh, it says all skin types, even sensitive. I try to avoid foaming products. It does have sodium lauryl sulfate, which tends to be more stripping. Uh, so I'm not sure if I will use this one either. There is the Kenra Lux One Leave-In All-in-One Miracle Spray. This is one fluid ounce. There is a NYX Worth the Hype Mascara, a little travel size. There is an Anastasia Lip Gloss in the shade Saint Tropez. So it looks like it has a shimmer to it, pink shimmer. Um, again, not sure if I will ever get to that. And if you think it's really wasteful as I'm saying this, uh, I am planning... A giveaway uh, at some point I have to kind of assemble everything get it together uh, for you guys and then I also want to do a video on uh, a donation box that I want to send to Project Beauty Share so some of these items I'm kind of earmarking for uh, those two boxes I'm assembling uh, there is a Urban Decay mascara troublemaker mascara there is the Prada candy I guess this is the original Prada Candy perfume. 
the Julep Love Your Bare Face Hydrating Cleansing Oil, which I've bought and used in the full size many times over. Uh, it is a very nice cleansing oil. There is a mini Lime Crime Diamond Crushers in Lit. The Sexy Hair Love Oil Moisturizing Oil. The Hemp's Herbal Healthy Hair Fortifying Shampoo and Conditioner. The First Aid Beauty Facial Radiance Pads. Uh, there are 10 of these and uh, these are really nice to put in a travel toiletry bag. Uh, they are a nice sort of gentle exfoliation. I think they have, yeah, glycolic acid. I'm not sure if there's any other acids, but uh, definitely glycolic acid. So that one's nice. There is a Maybelline Great Lash Mascara, a little mini size. The Ulta Poreless Face Primer. A, let's see, eyeliner from Ico. It's waterproof. So that will be nice to try out. There is from Tarte. I think these are samples of Shape Tape. Yeah, Shape Tape Concealer. Uh, I think I think I use the shade Fair, which isn't on here. So from Diva Curl, there is the Melt Into Moisture Matcha Butter Conditioning Mask. I think I've said before that hair masks are one category of product where I don't mind getting a packet like this because they generally give you enough um, for at least one use, if not two. And um, some of them are a little annoying to open in the shower. Sometimes you need to actually cut them up with scissors, but um, this is a really nice one. I think I have an empty of the full size in my empties bin right now. Uh, it smells like pistachios. So if you're into that, I would highly recommend checking it out. From Lime Crime, there is the Unicorn Hair Hair Tint in Bunny. And then there is a Living Proof Nourishing Styling Cream. This is one fluid ounce. The Mario Badescu Aloe Vera Toner, one fluid ounce. There is the Kula SPF 30... Dawn Patrol Classic Primer. This does have avobenzone in it as well. The Dermalogica Sound Sleep Cocoon Transformative Night Gel Cream. And then there is the Peter Thomas Roth Water Drench Cloud Cream Cleanser. I've tried the Cloud Cream, but not the Cleanser. Uh, the Cloud Cream is really nice, but I think it's, it's better for people who want more of a gel type moisturizer and don't want something super thick. Um, so if you are more oily or acne prone, uh, there is the Shiseido Ultimate Sun Protection Lotion SPF 50, also has avobenzone, the Woman by Ralph Lauren perfume, and then two more things, the Becca Ultimate Coverage 24-Hour Foundation, and a mini of the Benefit Roller Lash. So uh, it was quite a lot of things. That was 29 pieces. Um, I think the bag is kind of fun. It has kind of this woven canvasy type material and these little pom-poms so uh not the ugliest bag i've ever seen them make all right and then last but not least i placed one order from sephora and uh the first thing was the sephora favorites summer sun on the fly little kit here and the main reason i wanted to pick this up was because i wanted to try the drunk elephant proteiny polypeptide cream this is about half of an ounce so not a huge container here it is really nice, smells really nice and clean. I have been using this um, several times and I like it, especially for the summer. I don't think this will be enough for me in the winter. I think I do prefer, I think I showed this at some point, but this is another little mini of the um, Lala Retro Whipped Cream. So this one has a much thicker texture to it. Really nice and moisturizing. So. For winter, I would definitely recommend this. Um, if I'm not feeling especially dry, I think I can get away with this, especially if I'm following it up with some sort of sunscreen. So I have been enjoying that. So the other products in here include the Super Goop Defense Refresh Setting Mist, which unfortunately does have avobenzone in it as well, so I won't be using that. Uh, but the other ones, especially the Proteiny Cream, I didn't see any other option to try this other than uh, purchasing the full size, so I decided to go ahead and spring for this kit. Uh, but they had the Kiehl's Creme Decor Body Lotion. This is one fluid ounce. Um, I've tried this before. Generally, I prefer more of a body butter as opposed to a body lotion, but uh, it is a nice little travel size product there. 
And then there was also the Glow Recipe Watermelon Glow Sleeping Mask, which has watermelon, AHA, and hyaluronic acid. Uh, so I haven't tried this one yet. It's gotten a lot of hype, so I was definitely curious to try this one out for myself. And another item that's gotten a decent amount of hype is the Brio Geo Scalp Revival Charcoal and Coconut Oil Micro Exfoliating Shampoo, which is kind of a mouthful. Uh, this is one fluid ounce, and I've used this once. Uh, so like I mentioned when I talked about that Ulta Order, the Apple Cider Vinegar Scalp Scrub, this is kind of a similar idea. Uh, kind of really exfoliate your scalp, I guess. Uh, I tend to wash my hair if not every day, every other day, so I don't get too much buildup. Um, I generally don't use super heavy products, um, and if I do, my hair tends to be drier anyway, so it can, I think, handle a little bit more. Uh, but anyway, I wanted to give this a shot, and it wasn't as exfoliating as I thought it would be. Like, my hair felt clean, uh, the actual strands of my hair, but I didn't feel like my scalp just felt like totally refreshed or anything. Uh, I will say it smells really good. That's kind of the texture of it. It smells like Thin Mints, like the Girl Scout cookies. So if that appeals to you, um, you might want to check this out. I don't know if for the price though, I would ever, I don't think I would ever repurchase this. Uh, this travel size was, I want to say $11. So uh, again, one of those things where I'm happy to kind of shell out a moderate investment to kind of try a product, and if I find that I don't really love it, then uh, I can use it up and um, not waste that extra money and have a lot of products sitting around. So I will try this one to see how it compares, and I think L'Oreal also makes one at the drugstore that you can try as well. So I picked up a few 100 point perks. This is the Diva Curl Melt Into Moisture like I showed you in that Ulta gift with purchase. This is 1.5 fluid ounce, and let's see if I can just squeeze out a little bit. <laughs> so it's a light green color, um, which is kind of fun. And it does have that really nice nutty uh, pistachio type smell to it. So that was 100 points, and then I also picked up the Elizabeth and James Nirvana French Gray, and this is a little roller ball. And I don't think it's my favorite fragrance ever, but I kind of like the aesthetic of it. Like this light gray and gold are kind of two of my favorite color combinations. And I'd smelled it in store, but I decided it'd be nice to have this little roller ball for travel or just to have whenever the, the mood struck me. So I got that. And then my kind of deluxe sample that I picked up was the Commodity Nectar. And these are nice because they're actually sprays. This was 3 mil or 0.1 fluid ounce. And it looks like that has a little cap to it. And let's see, I don't know the notes of this. So it says, inspired by crisp, sparkling citrus fruits and freshly picked neroli blossoms, this unisex fragrance is luminous and vibrant. Juicy fruits of pomelo and tangerine are blended with neroli oil and honeysuckle for a bright, zesty effect. Um, and I had a minute there where I was really obsessed with grapefruit scents. So yeah, it does have that really fresh, um, really nice for the summer. So yeah, I do really like that one. Um, I also picked up a sample of, I think, bergamot in a recent order. Um, this one says they're unisex, but I would say this one smells a lot more feminine. And bergamot smells more like a men's cologne to me. So if you're interested in their citrus scents, um, this one has the white label. I think the bergamot has a gray label. I'm not sure exactly what the difference is between the different colors they have, but in my opinion, uh, nectar is much more feminine than uh, bergamot. All right, so we'll wrap it up with the three samples I picked up. I got the Brio Geo Don't Despair Repair Deep Conditioning Mask. This one's a little bit of a more anemic sample. There's only 0.4 ounces in it, but I thought it would be nice to pick up since I got the Scalp Revival. And then I also got the Too Faced Hangover RX Primer and the NARS Power Matte Pigment in the shade uh, American Woman, I believe. So anyway, so that was my 
kind of massive collective haul for the month of May. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed watching this. If you do, please make sure to subscribe. As a smaller YouTuber, I'm finding it a little hard to stay motivated to um, upload and edit videos just due to everything that's going on with the platform. So uh, it would really mean a lot to me if you would um, subscribe and show your support. So I hope you guys are having a great day. I will talk to you soon.